Welcome back, riders. We are in the final moments, and we are about to fight the Black Dread, I believe. Uh, Cheval has come to us after we saved Laius from being overly blighted. I was stupid, misguided. Even if the kinship stone shatters, the bond doesn't. This was the lesson that Rafi taught me. Riders and monsters are bound so soul to soul. Phil, you know this. Indeed, I do. So, our kinship stone is broken, but that's okay. You, you, you're really planning on fighting even without a kinship stone? Indeed, I am. Indeed, I am. Now, I'm wondering if this battle will be as epic as it was in the anime. Have you lost your yarn balls? You can't defeat it on spirit alone. But sometimes that's all you need. Laius, you? He's saying he wants to fight. Well, he is the king of the skies. Yes, it did. Putting the wreck in er, recklessness? In reckless? Right on, partner. Let's show this doofus the strength of our kinship. Nice. Ooh, will it be an aerial battle? Let's go, partner. Lay us. To the battle to end all battles. Now, now. Alright. Time to fight. The black light is spreading. Hairballs at this rate, the world will... Come on, partner. Let's stop the blight. We got this. We have our kinship. Alright, so I I did read up on this battle just a little bit. Um <clears throat> You have to focus on destroying its body parts because it does regenerate. We can't hit it when its barrier's up. What should we do? So let's see. All right, aim for its head, partner. Nobody likes being hit on the head. That's the weak point for sure. Uh-oh. I, I understand this is a very, like, time-consuming battle, so that's why I kind of separated the episodes up just a little. Uh-oh. Made a bad pick. Let's see. Let's do... Well done, steak. Barrier drop. Now we want to go for the tail, so this way it can't do double attacks. Our attacks are working. Awesome. And if it works on the white dragon... So now, I'm just going to keep on with the speed. I don't know what its preference is. But I understand it is really, really weak to fire. Like I said, I did research this a little bit. Apparently, though, all the Wrath Wyverns are particularly strong against this. So if I was using Azure Rathalos or um, even Pink Rathian or, you know, my own Rathian, I'd still be okay. Or even a different Rathalos. Oops. So, like I said, I'm not.
Um, now, when I was watching a video on how to um, actually fight this thing. Okay, so we gotta start aiming for the head again. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. What was I about to say? It was saying that, yeah, your monsters are pretty much going to be very, like, if you're using any of the, uh, rafts, it'll be good. It's just a long fight because, oh! But the person that said it said that they, like, had a Rathalos that was at level, like, 55 or so. And all of its attacks were doing, like, 500 or so damage. Uh-oh. Okay. You really expect me to believe, like, the chibi-fied Rathalos is going to knock this thing out of the sky? I mean, I believe it, but... Because we're seeing it. Now, the other end of the, um... Thing was, one of their hearts for how many times they could be knocked down was flashing, like I thought in that video it implied that maybe they just had one extra, or it was just impossible for them to be knocked down in this fight. We got its tail, now it can't attack twice a turn. And it looks like it got a burn. Cool. I'm gonna eat another well done steak, just to keep my health going. Uh-oh. And I want to try to get off as many combos as possible. Hmm. There goes the head. Alright. Well, we're going to keep aiming for that head. Just as we have been. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's that? Just gotta keep aiming for that head. Uh-oh. Looks like neither of us are going to do anything this turn, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Alright, so let's go for the tail this time. for that tail. <clears throat> oh, another showdown. Cool. And now, uh, I think I'm the one that needs a Mega Potion. Uh-oh. We just got rid of the head. I would assume it's losing health the entire time. Uh-oh.
I wonder if that means we're getting close to uh, taking it down. Let's try to get Rathalos a little more help. Right on its head. I also read that this battle is very, very repetitive. Just because you're going back and forth between attacking the head and the tail. What's happening now? Laius' power is surging. Partner, let's show them Wrath and my... I mean, Wrath and our kinship. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. It said level 3? Yeah, it says level 3. I wonder what this is going to be. Because it was only saying level 1. I never... Learned how to unleash a level 2 kinship move, but now it's saying level 3. Is this Sky High Extreme from the uh, anime? Uh oh, where's Nabiru going? Gotta pay attention in case I need to do any button mashing. That's right, Nabiru is holding on to the tail. But he is a feline. This is pretty awesome, I have to say. Did we do it? Oh, because Laius is the white dragon. I get it now. Your ultimate kinship move makes your monster a white dragon. Nice. The white dragon. The white miracle. We did it, partner. Yes, it did. We stopped the black dread. Wait, are the fragments moving, or...? So how do we fix the kinship stone? The kinship ore. The darkness, it's receding. I feel like I'm finally awake after sleeping for so long. If we hadn't met Rafa that day, this miracle would never have happened. Well, I guess finding Laius was a miracle in itself. Yeah. Maybe he was waiting there for, for a rider to awaken him and forge a bond. Maybe Rathalos is just one of the most notable monsters in Monster Hunter, so they're just using that. Hmm. Cutscenes!
and the light returns to the world. Is that an egg? Oh no. We we know not from where the darkness came or where it has now fled. Okay. But there is one thing that we do now know. When I'm pushed back, the darkness bringing light in tow. Mm -hmm, he's gonna rhyme. Was the kinship that we now know between a monster and a rider. Okay. All of us living under these skies can connect the forged bonds with our allies. Ugh. And awakened anew, a deep power did rise. Perhaps someday they'll tell again these stories of yore. And kinship and bonds will bring light back once more. Awaken to a world. Okay, so it's going to be the ending credits now. Um, so, I'm not going to make you guys sit through the credits or anything like that. So, thanks for watching the series. I do appreciate everything, you know, supporting the channel. Um, make sure to check out my other videos as well. Make sure to head over to Patreon and do support so I can bring you better, higher quality videos. Hopefully in the near future. And it was a pleasure to bring this series to you. I will make more Monster Hunter Stories videos, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit those links, and as always, subscribe and like this video.